Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this five minute video will show you how to add links, uh, internal links, external links, all types of HTML links, and uh, images and media in your WordPress uh, backend dashboard. Here's a site here that's uh, I'm working on for a client. Um, they've already um, included the links in the text that they've given me to place into the post uh, but that's not the way you want it to look here it's, it doesn't look the best so what you want to do is basically you want to link the correct uh, anchor text and uh, in this case uh, dietitians so we'll, we'll place this link um, to dietitians I'll show you how to do that basically just copy the link so we'll copy that um, and uh, we'll delete delete the way it was linked. Now we'll just go to dietitians and we'll highlight dietitians and this little link here, there's a broken one here, don't click that because that'll unlink anything. But uh, click on this one here and you can see you enter the URL. So we'll delete that because we already have the HTTP in the link and we just insert it in there. So it's as simple as that. If you, if you if you want the link to open in a new window when someone clicks on it, just highlight this little box here. So this is this is the preferable way to do it, otherwise they keep on uh, you keep on directing them away from your site if you don't uh, tick this box. So just click on add link and now you can see dietitians. Uh, I don't think it's spelled correctly so I'll run a spell checker over that. Uh, that's linked now. So uh, we'll just go down to the next one and there's one here. Um, green tea time. So I'll highlight green tea time. I'll copy that and I'll just cut that out. Uh, and where is it? Where does she want it linked? I'll have to find out where she wants it linked. I think green tea, it's green tea time, so green tea. Make sure you get the correct anchor text. This is really, really important, especially if you turn a link into your own site. You definitely want the correct anchor text. So you want a keyword uh, that you're using. You want that linked correctly, not just click here. Never put click here. Always make sure you use a keyword that you're linking. So I'll, uh, I'll link green tea. And this is an external link, and with external links, it is better to add no follow to the links, so that way you're not giving away your SEO, you're not giving away link juice. So that's done there. So I can delete this, uh, delete this now. We've linked that. Uh, where does this keep going? Down there, down there. All right. Well, that's that. That's pretty straightforward. I'm sure you've got the drift of that. It's just a matter of linking them up and. Um, I don't know what happened to dietitians, I'll just have a look at that. Okay, I'll fix that problem, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, we've linked those two words there, and uh, we'll just go back here to the smaller screen, and we'll make sure we save this work, we'll always save this once you've added a couple of links with some images, and, uh, and that way you won't lose the changes that you've made. So that's been saved now. Now I'll just show you a few tricks with uh, images, how to insert images. To add an image to your uh, to your content, it's just a matter of placing the cursor on the position that you want the image. Uh, we'll just put it here, um, just a little bit uh, below the first few lines there. You click here, this is all your media up here. So click on the first one which says add an image. So we click on that and we just find the image wherever it's located on your computer. It might be on your desktop or in documents or wherever you've stored it. In this case I've stored some, uh, some images. In, uh, on the desktop in a folder so uh, let's look for an image here um, we'll, we'll, we'll take one of these now when you click on the image it will download um, make sure you have the correct alternate text in here this is very very important um, it's called alt text in short and this is what the search engines read so make sure you have a keyword in here which tells the search engines what, what this image is about so I've added I've added healthy living, which is a keyword. Now you've got some um, you can change the size of the image, and the best way to do that is insert it into the post first. And I'll show you how to change the size of the image in the next video.